Hi, nearly to tell you all so here. Welcome to another video. In this episode, we're going to be fixing this Julietta. It's coming to me as a, a non-runner. The original fault was uh, overheating and no water in the system, well, a water leak. Um, I've just undone all the bolts on the cover, so let's have a look and see if we can see what's wrong with it. Well, as soon as I removed the uh, sound deadening material, I had an idea of what was wrong with it. So, um, as you can see, it's melted all the engine cover away. So, we know that something's failed behind here. Let's pull this out. It's also broken into two pieces. Now, that's going to have to go in the bin. Right, so, uh, now I've got my torch. As you can see, the cam belt has definitely gone. Something has failed down there, and from the look of it, it's the water pump because it's not pointing in the right let's try and get a bit, a bit of light down there it's not pointing in the right direction so uh, it looks like that has definitely failed which is a shame because uh, the cam belt was done so unfortunately uh, it may be uh, an expensive repair job so what I've got to do now remove the cam belt remove all, all the debris from around the cam belt area um, and then I'm gonna have to remove the rocker cover so I'm going to have to remove all the injectors, fuel rail, a few other bits and bobs so I can uh, access the uh, rockers underneath. I'm assuming it's going to have snapped lots of them because the customer was uh, attempting to start it quite a lot before uh, it was bought to me. So uh, I'm assuming this is going to be quite a, a lengthy and expensive repair bill. I've taken the pulley off and the power steering belt and started undoing the mount. Um, now we're going to start undoing the rest of the top of the engine. I have checked uh, top dead centre with the cam pulley and it seems to be in line. There may only be a couple of teeth out, but we'll see how much is broken on it once we've got the uh, covers off. As we can see, there's a fair old uh, mess down there, so we do need to clean all that up once we've got the belt off. But as you can see, there is a timing mark just underneath here, which is about there, which is probably about right for where it should be. But the pump timing is way out, it should be uh, around here. So um, timing's definitely moved on it, how much we don't know just yet. Uh, so uh, let's just strip it all down, and now, if you can see that, down there, you can see the water pumps leaking.
remove the injectors. Let's hope that they're not uh, seized in. So we just want to start to uh, wiggle them around a bit. So I'm just trying to remove the injector here. With a lot of the uh, older alphas with a high mileage, they are quite difficult to remove and a lot of them do seize into place. But it is very common on the, on the Mitos, especially on the 1.3 and the 1.6 diesel engines that the injectors do tend to seize into place. So what I'm doing here is I'm just wiggling it lightly backwards and forwards until uh, it becomes free enough to remove it like that one just has. Now moving on to the next one, as you can see, just a light pry with a screwdriver from either side, just to break the seal on it and start moving it backwards and forwards. And then once it becomes freer, I can then start to uh, prise it up. I'm just easing on the mount ever so slightly to try and pull it up out of the way. And then eventually it will just uh, give way and uh, pull up out of the way. jump to uh, the other two being removed so uh, I haven't got to do as much editing okay that is now all four injectors out the last two come out pretty easily actually um, what I'm going to do now is remove these five six center bolts and then put some rag down the hole so nothing drops into the cylinders And now the rag's in there, we just need to remove the cam belt now, and um, then we can start removing the head. So this tensioner isn't that old, but you can tell that that water pump definitely hasn't been changed because it's seized solid. So if you have anything to take away from this video, is don't scrimp on a 30 pound water pump just get your water pump changed it doesn't take much more effort so uh, get it done as you can see what it's also done it's taken out this tensioner down here there's not much left of that now so right let's uh, get everything undone take this water pump off now so we can see how that is As you can see with this water pump, the inside is separated from the outside. It's seized totally solid. Only this bit will move a little bit freely. But that's because it's totally separated from the, uh, the main centre of the bearing. So yeah, get your water pumps changed people. Right, uh, a few more bits to remove on the other side of the engine. And then we should be pretty much free to lift that up out of the way. Okay, everything's pretty much loose. I've had to undo a ton of sensors to get the wiring loom further over. Um, I'm probably still going to struggle, to be honest, with the wiring loom, so we'll uh, see how far we can get it up anyway. Um, so you need to be very delicate when removing the head. You just want to break the seal by prising against something uh, lightly. Uh, as you can see, that's already been done. Um, but you don't want to force anything too much because you need to get it above these five uh, threads and you don't want to bend them or anything like that so you just need to be delicate with them and just work it up you may just want to get a, a little bit of a cloth in there and just clean the threads off as well and also make sure there's not a ton of debris down there that which can go into the cylinders OK, 
Okay, there we go. Let's get that from underneath the loom. And pop that somewhere safe. Okay, right. I think the customer has done pretty well on this one. I can see two broken rockers immediately. So let's grab you and so you can have a look at it. A start on this back one. I'm not taking them out at the minute, I'm just giving a quick visual inspection. Um, I will inspect them more thoroughly off camera. The back ones look okay. The front ones two of them are broken. But as you can see the two which are broken are there. So let's pull those out and make sure they're complete. Okay, here are the two broken rockers. Now what I'm waiting to see is making sure that all those little pins inside that bearing are still there. Because if they're not, I have to uh, dig into the engine and try and find them. That one's all okay. And that one's all okay. I also just want to make sure that these are all complete and there's no bits of metal missing. I'll need two hands to do that. So I will just want to inspect those and just make sure that they're all okay and there's nothing missing there. So we skimmed to escape pretty well on that uh, with only two broken rockers. I will want to uh, inspect the engine a little bit more and inspect the other rockers, make sure there's no hairline cracks. Um, so yeah, I will uh, get inspecting that. Okay, so I've inspected all those. And I have found another four or five that I'm not entirely happy with. So I'm gonna be replacing a few of those. I'm also gonna be replacing this gasket here, so I need to order one of those in. Um, the customer has been very lucky. He needs six new rockers. So that isn't too bad. I will... Um, get them all on the bench as you can see it's going dark so we'll get them on the bench uh, in the morning when it's a little bit lighter so right i've inspected all those i will do them again on the bench tomorrow when it's a bit lighter um but main thing is we've got all the needle bearings there they're fine so we don't have to worry about rooting around the engine trying to find the missing ones we've just got six of these rockers to replace so i'm going to order those parts in now as well as a gasket and a cam belt and kit and a water pump um, and then in part two, I'm going to be replacing all this and hopefully firing it up. So please smash that like button for me because it is important uh, to get my ratings up. And if you also haven't seen my videos before, please hit that subscribe button. And I shall see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.